nothing. Keyboard's not responding. Keyboard is dead. The keyboard works in uh, the BIOS, but it doesn't work in it doesn't work in Windows. Okay, here's the PC. I changed the CMOS battery. So we will attempt to turn it on again. There, it's on. So let's see if the... We will set the CMOS settings and then... We will uh, shut it down, unplug it, and we'll check if the CMOS settings have indeed uh, been uh, saved. As you can see, it resets to December 2002. And as you know, it's now 2024. So, yeah. So, it's July... There. And the current time is... Uh, what's the current time? 20. Okay. Okay, so with that we do the advanced settings. Zero, let's put this on the C D wrong. Okay. Uh, features on board, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so primary graphics should be AGP. Okay. And then we will save that. Yes, enter. So it should boot to XP. Cool, there it's Windows XP. isn't working okay the mouse isn't working let's check um, let's put the mouse on the USB port There, so the mouse should work. Okay, so we've got mouse. So we'll shut down the system and then we'll unplug it. 
We'll see if the CMOS battery, the new CMOS battery helped in uh, keeping the bias settings. Right, okay, so we will unplug we'll unplug it so the system is unplugged um, okay so we will hit the power just so that any lingering charge on the capacitors on the motherboard will be discharged Okay, so we will plug it back in, power to the monitor, and we will see if the BIOS settings saved. It shouldn't give me any warning about the BIOS anymore, it should just straight up boot. Yes. Alright, so after changing the battery, the CMOS seems to be, or the BIOS seems to be saving in the settings. But, still the problem persists. The keyboard, the keyboard works in uh, the BIOS, but it doesn't work in, it doesn't work in Windows. So, trying to figure out maybe there's a BIOS setting for the USB ports. So yeah, we'll try to find that. So we have, have this plug and play ID bus master. Problem is there's no explanation for any of these. So there's that USB function for DOS is disabled, so maybe if we enable it, the keyboard will work. Audio device enabled, modem device enabled, onboard USB function enabled, game port, MIDI port, serial port A, onboard floppy disk controller, set that to auto, thumb drive for DOS, yeah. Let's see, let's enable that too. Right, so uh, what else can we open to four? Lock, locked, so there's no need to hardware monitor. Okay, so let's save and exit, see what happens. Yes.
gonna do to Windows XP. Alright, let's check if the keyboard works. No, it doesn't work. It says found new hardware USB keyboard, but will it work? The mouse doesn't. Keyboard is not. Oh, great. Keyboard is now working. Cool. Okay. The mouse isn't working though, so we have to move the plug. So, this is where the mouse is plugged into the PS2 port. But if it doesn't work, then we we'll plug it onto the other USB <laughs> port. to get it in okay so we have no need for the ps2 ports so the keyboard and mouse are plugged in to the so let's see if the keyboard works yes let's try notepad oh no okay mouse works so let's try notepad where's that Usually in the accessories. Notepad, okay. Cool. Okay, seems to be working. Okay, keyboard seems to be working. So now we could probably um, do something else. So it, it was the BIOS setting had to do with the USB for DOS so I enabled both thumb drive for DOS and uh, I think it was USB for DOS so now it works cool Someone else is testing my keyboard for me. Great, so it works. So we've solved that. Um, maybe we could try installing a game now. Or maybe not. Uh, okay, at least we resolved that part. Okay. So I guess that's it for now, uh, we'll be back with, uh, I don't know, maybe after we install a few games, maybe try to play something. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Once again, enjoy.